Now let us take this uh, problem here. If the angular deformation of a solid shaft should not exceed 1 degree in a length of 1.8 meter, then the allowable shearing stress is 85 megapascal. What is the diameter of the shaft? Let G equal to 77 gigapascal. We have here the diagram which is subjected to a twisting moment. Our theta is limited to 1 degree. And the length is 1.8 meters. The FS is equal to 85 megapascal. G is equal to 77 gigapascal. Now the solution that we are going to have, considering uh, equation for theta. Theta is equal to Tm all over Jg, which we consider it as equation 1. And SS is equal to Tc all over J, having that as equation 2. Now equation 1 is equated to equation 2 in terms of T, so that we will have it equal to theta multiplied by J multiplied by G all over L, which is now equal to SS J over C. J and J will be cancelled out, so the equation will be theta G over L equal to SS over C. Substituting values, 1 degree by 77 gigapascal over 1.8 meters equal to 85 megapascal all over D, all over 2, or our D will be equal to 1.8 meters, 85 megapascal, multiplied by 2, all over 1 degree by 77 gigapascal, by pi all over 80. So, we will have the D equal to 1.8, multiplied by 85, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 180 all over 77 pi which will now be equal to 227.694 millimeter that will now be the diameter of the shell now we have here another problem which has stated a shaft of a machine supported on bearings 1.8 meters apart is to transmit 250 horsepower at 200 RPM while subjected to a bending load of 4,500 newtons located 0.6 meters from one bearing. Allow a shearing stress of 40 megapascal and a bearing stress of 82 megapascal. Assume a shock and fatigue factor to be applied to the bending moment at 1.5. The same for shear, the same for shear. Determine the shock diameter for letter A, 4 is steady loading, and for letter B, 4 shock loading. So we have here the shock loaded 4.5 kilonewtons, equivalent to, equivalent to 4,500 newtons, which is 0.6 meters from A, 1.2 meters from B, a total length of 1.8 meters. So taking the summation of moment of A equal to zero, so therefore we will have B equal to 1.5 kilonewtons. Taking the summation of moment at B equal to zero. So we will have the value of the reaction at A equal to 3 kilonewtons. Having the reactions, we can now draw, project the shear diagram, and we will be able to have this diagram, which from the diagram itself, we will be able to take the moment at this uh, point in here. That is at the line of action of the load, that is 4.5 kilonewtons. 
which is uh, 0.6 meters from A. So that the maximum moment we will have is equal to 1.8 kilonewton meter. Then solving for the twisting moment now for the torque, which is taken from P is equal to 2 pi Tf. So T is equal now to 8.9 kilonewton meter. For the second fatigue factor of 1.5, Km is equal to Ks, which is equal to 1.5. Ss now is equal to 40 megapascal. Sf is equal to 82 megapascal. The diameter for a steady loading. So we take the diameter for a steady loading where we have the T at 8.9, M at 1.8. Ks is 1.5, Km is 1.5. Therefore, T squared is equal to M squared plus T squared. Or M E now is equal to M plus T E. From SS is equal to 16T all over 5D cube. Multiply by the square root of the quantity Km M squared plus Ks T squared. So we will have the D at 119.7 millimeters. That is in terms of shear. In terms of the flexural stress, we will be able to have D at 98.25 millimeters. That is on bending. So we use the higher value so that it will be safe in terms in terms of uh, shear, which will now be 120 millimeter. For shock loads, that is the T is equal to 1.120.14 millimeters. For bending substituting values, we will have T equal to 100.45 millimeters. Now we consider the last problem involving shock. As is stated, a 24 inches diameter pulley driven by a horizontal belt transmit power through a hollow shaft. Outside diameter is equal to two times the inside diameter. To a 10 inches diameter pinion which drives a mating gear. The pulley weighs 300 pounds to provide some flywheel effect. The arrangement of elements, the belt tensions, and the components of the gear reacting on the pinion is shown below. Calculate the dimensions of the shaft using N is equal to 3 and SY is 15,600 PSI. So we have here the arrangement and all the forces shown on the figure. We are given, of course, the diameter of the pulley at 24 inches, the relationship of the outside diameter and the inside diameter for the hollow shaft, that is T is equal to 2D, or the outside diameter is equal to 2 times the inside diameter. Weight of the pulley at 300 pounds, Factor of safety of 3 and yield strength at 15,600 pounds. Considering the torque acting on the pulley, that will be 400 pounds here on the slack side and 1,200 pounds on the tight side. So that if we take the torque, that is T is equal to F multiplied by R, or that is equal to the net force multiplied by the moment arm, which will now be equal to T, equal to 9,600 inch uh, pounds. Now, if we uh, take the forces acting on the X-plane, we will see the 700 pounds and the total of 400 and 1,200, that is 1,600 pounds. So that if we take the reactions of Px and Fx by simply considering the summation of forces 
sa minsan ng uh, moment at B equal to 0, therefore 34 fx is equal to 700 pounds by 9 inches plus 1,600 pounds by 24 inches. fx now is equal to 1,314.71 pounds. At fx, we will have 34 bx equal to 1,600 by 10 plus 700 by 25. Or our bx is equal to 985.29 pounds. So if we project this shear diagram, we will see here from bx to zero projected up by 985.29 uh, pounds down by 700 so that is 285.29 pounds to be in here then projected down by 1314.71 pounds to zero at fx so taking the moment now that is moment at bx of course zero moment at e will be equal to moment at Bx plus the area of the shear diagram to the left of E. So that will be equal to moment at E is equal to 8,867.25 in uh, pounds. Then moment at P will be equal to the moment at E plus 285.25 by 15. Moment that you now will be equal to 13,146.96 inch pounds. Moment that fx is zero. So considering the process on the white plane, we will see the 1,920 pounds and the 300 pounds. So considering the reactions at by and fy, we will be having that is 34 fy equal to 300 by 24 minus 1920 by 9 or fy now is equal to negative 286.47 pounds at fy that is 34 by equal to 1920 by 25 minus 300 by 10 by now will be equal to 1,323.53 pounds. We have here the shear diagram, which uh, we can see that uh, the shear diagram is here, and we are going to consider this as A1, A2, A3. So that if we take the moment at P, which is equal to zero, the moment that E now is equal to A1, which is equal to negative 1,323.53 1, multiplied by 9, or that is 11,911.77 11 inch pounds. And taking the moment that P, which is now equal to negative Fe plus A2, or that is 11,911.77 plus 596.47 by 15 then we are going to have the moment that T equal to negative 2964.72 the moment that F will be equal to zero the maximum moment considering the maximum moment for the gear that is the moment that gear 2 is equal to 11911.77 inch pounds squared plus 8,867.25 inch pounds squared or we will have 14,849.86 inch uh, pounds for the pulley that is P squared is equal to 13,146.61.6 that is squared plus 2,964.72 0.72 that is the square or P now is equal to 
476.25 inch pounds. We have T squared equal to M squared plus T squared or ME is equal to M plus T. From the flexional stress that is 16 DME. That is DME over pi multiplied by the quantity outside diameter to the port minus inner diameter to the port. And SS is equal to 16 DTE all over pi multiplied by the quantity that is outside diameter to the port minus the inside diameter to the port. Our SY is 15,600 PSI. Factor of safety of 3. T is taken at 9,600 inch pounds. M is 14,849.86 inch pounds. So we take the equivalent moment and equivalent torque. The equivalent torque is T squared minus equal to M squared plus T squared. Substituting values. We have here 14,849.86 inch pounds squared plus 9,600 inch pounds squared. Therefore, T is equal to 17,682.713 inch pounds. That is for the shear torque. Considering the design stress, that is on normal design stress, that is SD is equal to 15,600 psi over 3 equal to 5,200 and the design stress in terms of shear that is multiplied by 0.6 so that our design stress in terms of shear is 3,120 pounds per inch square taking the shear diameter where outside diameter is equal to 2 times the inner diameter that is SS is equal to 16 DTE all over pi multiplied by the quantity outside diameter to the port minus inside diameter to the port, which is now equal to 32 T all over 15 pi D cube. Our D cube now is equal to 32 times 17,682.718 pounds over 15 pi multiplied by the quantity 3,120 pounds. Our inside diameter now will be taken at 1.567 inches. Our outside diameter is equal to 2D or outside diameter is equal to 3.134 inches. The bending diameter based on bending ME is equal to M plus TE or the equivalent moment of 14,849.86 plus 17,682.71. Our equivalent moment is 32,532.57 inch pounds. From the fractional stress equation, which will be reduced to 32 Me all over 15 pi D cube. Therefore, D cube is equal to 32 times the quantity 32,532.57 inch, inch pounds over 15 multiplied by pi multiplied by the quantity 5,200 pounds per inch squared. And we will have the inner diameter at one point. 62 inches. Our outer diameter now, which is equal to 2 times the inner diameter, that is 2 times 1.62 inches. So that will be equal to the outer diameter will be equal to 3.24 inches.